Hi, this is Pam from Luxury Resale Guide, and it's time to talk about anything and everything about luxury resale fashion. Today, we will review Louis Vuitton Drew Crossbody. Crossbody bags can be the perfect fashion accessory on any day. Louis Vuitton's Drew is no different. For avid followers of Louis Vuitton, you are well aware of how absolutely gorgeous the monogram canvas print can make any bag look. That isn't the only thing that determines the worth of a bag though, especially a crossbody one. Let's take a look at the discontinued Louis Vuitton Drew collection and see if it's the next Louis Vuitton you want to add to your collection. History One of the few crossbody bags from Louis Vuitton, the handbag was discontinued in 2018. It's one of the most affordable bags from the company and has been going around on the resale market for a long time. As for the origin of the name, strangely enough, it was actually named after a dominant and popular auction house of Paris, Hotel Drew. One suspects the auction house got the honor of the name because of Drew's affordability. Maybe a slight laugh at anything could be priced too high or too low at an auction house. Structure The adjustable strap is one of the biggest advantages of Drew. Repositioning the straps can raise its length from 18 to 21 inches. This is particularly a useful feature for shorter people who have had a bad experience with crossbody bags that run somewhat past their thighs. The monogram canvas Drew has what you would call a bucket shape. The bottom base is a round leather and evenly sized so the sides don't poke out. It features the coated canvas as the main material while the cowhide leather is used for the shoulder strap. The strap also has comfortable pads, ensuring you don't feel an ache in your neck and shoulder after carrying it around for a long time. As for the interior lining, just like with all monogram canvas bags, Drew also has a cross-grain leather lining of brown color. For the hardware, gold tone has been put into use. If you know anything about the monogram canvas and its classic symbol consisting of flowers and quatrefoils, you are well aware of how sturdy the bag made of this material is. What fits? The Louis Vuitton Drew is 8 inches in length, that is, the base of the bag and 4.25 inches in width, while it is 9 inches in height. From the measurements, it's obvious how small it is, even for a crossbody bag. Especially if you are someone who likes fitting in a lot of things in your handbag or having to be out for a whole day and need all your necessities with you, this isn't the bag you would want to bring out of your closet. You can fit your phone, earphones, maybe a pen or pencil, and even your sunglasses case. You can throw in a bit of lipstick, compact eyeliner as well. You won't be able to fit in a long wallet though, as part of the wallet is likely to be at odds with the zip at the top. You can always switch to a small, compact size wallet or even a card holder though. The flat pocket without a zip on the inside is where you can keep your phone, but if you don't necessarily want to use that place for your cell phone, you can keep a bit of money and even some cards in there. Maintenance Out of the Louis Vuitton collections, the Drew can be regarded as high maintenance. Mostly, this is because of the leather bottom. The last thing you want to do is scrub or apply soap water to the leather area. It almost always leaves behind a nasty watermark that you will never get rid of. In fact, when you are on the hunt for Drews from retail stores, you'll most likely come across lots of Louis Vuitton handbags that have dark marks on the leather part. It's up to you whether you'd want to buy that, but know that if you were to resell the bag yourself, the price would drop further. If you particularly need to clean the bag, it's best to just give it a generous wipe. While you can apply water on the coated canvas, you have to be careful that the water doesn't touch the leather straps and the base. Don't keep too many items inside the bag either. Its small body would only be able to take so much of the weight before it starts to tear. How to style The Louis Vuitton Drew is a crossbody bag. Just like most bags of this specification, the most go-to style is to simply fit the bag over your neck so it goes from one shoulder to the other side of your body, usually comfortably resting on your waist and upper thighs. You can let the bag hang off your shoulder to the side as well, though it doesn't have the same modern classy effect. As we mentioned previously, the straps are adjustable. You can adjust the handles until the bags are at a position that is both comfortable for you and helps accentuate your body. You can wear the handbag with most casual cloth choices and even dresses. It's not ideal for corporate style though. Resale information. The price of the Drew can differ a lot depending on the condition the owner has kept it in. 
For the most part, it seems to stick between $600 to $1,000 for most resellers depending on the bag's condition. Authenticity To check for the authenticity of a Louis Vuitton bag, it's best to look at the stamp and the date code. Date code for the Drew is located near the zipper where inside rivet is located. If you're buying from a reseller, they should have information on the date code. If they don't, then that in itself is a red flag. Even when the date code and stamp of the country match, you should still see that the handbag ticks off other boxes to check authenticity. The counterfeiters have gotten bolder as well as more creative with their imitation. A shiny shoulder strap for the Drew and you should know not to go near it. Vachetta used for the handles turn a darker shade with time and so, if it's the original, it would never be in the clean, shiny condition as the day it was manufactured till now. Resale Condition In a way, you do know what you're getting into when you're planning to buy the Louis Vuitton from a resale store. Not everything about the handbag would be exactly as perfect as the date of manufacture, however, it doesn't mean you should come home with a bag that turns out to be unusable after some time or one you can't resell yourself. First and foremost, you should check the strap. The strap might be cowhide leather, but years of use can lead the fabric to get weaker. You should mainly check on two parts on the strap. One is the buckle which helps you adjust the height of the strap. Make sure it's in working condition and the handles slide back and forth easily. Another is the part of the strap that connects to the bag. You need to see if it looks like it's going to start tearing anytime soon. Inside the bag, you should check on the pocket. Years of misuse can lead the pocket to be sticky and attached when it shouldn't be the case. Check the bottom leather as well. This is the part of the bag that takes the most load, so it's quite possible that the lining has begun to wear down here. It could also be sporting watermarks from someone carelessly washing the leather part with soap and water. Who should buy this bag? The Louis Vuitton Drew is perfect for women who are looking for a light travel companion. Something you can carry around with you throughout the day and do not feel the weight of it biting your shoulders. These are also perfect for unexpected outdoor plans and a carry-on for parties. The monogram canvas design allows the crossbody bag to cross over from casual wear to party wear. In general, it's perfect for people who only like carrying the bare minimum items. If you're a college student or someone with a job that requires frequent traveling all over the city, you will love this bag. On the other hand, the small body does make it a bit of a problem for people who have lots of items they want to carry around with them and have long purses. Overall, the bag should be ideal for you if you are the type to prefer minimum items. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to help me create more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a fabulous day!